take a look at this damage. Someone went off-roading in a local park right after all the recent rain we had. What a mess there. And our tenders reporter Joe Little shows us how police are now using neighbors to catch the drivers. I guess whenever it rains, everyone's resident amateur off-roader believes a local park becomes his playground. But take a look at this. I'm sure this is a lot of fun, but it's also a felony. It's usually a place for walkers, players, and children. I used to play softball here all the time, and I, I see kids play soccer here all the time also. Efren LaGuardia just took a lap around this Chula Vista park, but had to stop and marvel at this. I just think they don't think about the overall, you know, what's happening here. Someone took their car off-roading in the park, destroying the grass. Yeah, it makes me sad and frustrated and, you know, ashamed that this is happening here. In order to have their fun, these guys hopped the curb and then tore off into the field. That's where they did this nice donut in the soggy grass, but they didn't stop here. Those yahoos drove clear out to here to do their best Dukes of Hazard impersonation. And then for good measure, they took it up here to the hillside. The tire marks still stain the sidewalk. And I think they just don't care. They just want to have a good time. And it wasn't just here. Four parks were trashed. Chula Vista police say the damage totals almost $6,000. That's taxpayer money. Yeah, I was about to say that. It's our money. Sadly, police say this happens a lot when it rains. They want neighbors to call 911 if they see it happen. It is a felony. Just a shame, you know, that, that, that this happened and the city has to repair it now. Repairs LaGuardia wishes didn't have to be made in Chula Vista. Too bad they didn't get stuck in this mess. Joe Little, 10 News. Yeah, Joe would have gone after him. For unfortunately, none of the parks had any security cameras. You should call police if you have any information.